All right, so what they're basically asking here is which one of these can be factored out of this big polynomial. And in math 30-1, we're not given a cubic equation. We're not given an equation generalized that allows us to solve cubic functions. So we're going to have to think smart here. We're going to have to find some other way of finding out how we factor out one of these expressions. And the way to do that is to take the zero and test it in the equation. So for the first one, the zero is negative one. Because if you put negative one in for x, this becomes zero. So let's take negative one and plug it in to this equation. Three times negative one cubed plus eight x squared. Oh, not x, we're plugging in the minus one squared minus negative one, obviously, minus 10. And if this equals zero, then we know that we have the right answer. So let's work this out. Negative one cubed is still negative one, which is negative three, so minus three, minus three, excuse me, minus three, uh, negative one squared is one, so it's plus eight. Negative three plus eight, minus minus one, so that's plus one, minus 10. That's not giving us zero, is it? negative 4. So we didn't get 0 so that's not the right answer. Let's move on. Uh, I prefer not to do fractions if I can help it. So let's try this one. x plus 10. We're going to use minus 10. So now we'll take minus 10 and plug it in to the equation. This will be minus 10, minus 10, minus 10. So what what will this be? This will be negative a thousand, so negative three thousand. And we can stop right here because this is not going to add up to uh, to cancel out the three thousand. So let's try uh, let's try this one. The three x plus five. How do we make that equal zero? We negative five-thirds would do it. Negative five-thirds times three is negative five plus five is zero. So once again we'll take our equation and plug in negative five-thirds each time. Alright, and when we expand this out we get 5 cubed, uh, 5 thirds cubed equals 125 over 27 because 5 cubed is 125, 3 cubed is 27 negative 5 squared is 25, 3 squared is 9 and then that's just that. Okay, so we have that. Now, oh wait, <laughs> the cubed and the squared go away because we just, we just uh, expanded that okay next step let's multiply the coefficients we have negative 375 or wait no there's a better way of doing this 125 because 3 divided by 27 simplifies to 1 over 9, so we'll just divide the 27 by the 3 and make it 9. So that equals that. Um, over here we'll just go 200 over 9, because 8 times 25 is 200. <clears throat> and let's 
make everything under a common denominator. Let's get rid of the minus here. Change that the two minuses to a plus. To a plus. Five thirds becomes fifteen over nine. And then the ten becomes ninety over nine. So now we can deal with this. Equals. So 200, <clears throat> 200 minus 125 is 75 plus 15 is 90 minus 90, zero. Love it. We found our answer. Our answer, our zero is the negative 5 thirds, which means our answer is B3x plus 5.